In the previous video, we studied what were linear differential functions. In this video, let me move further with the algorithm or the procedure to solve the questions based on linear differential equations or linear differential functions. Now see, one thing is very clear. That thing is that in this category, we come across one term which is called as integrating factor. And why is it called as integrating factor and what do we have to do with that term or that integrating factor is of wide importance and interest. So what we do is, we first of all write the question that is given in the form of this general equation which we started in the previous video. So the step one would be write whatever is given in the form of general form which is dy upon dx plus py is equal to q where p, q are the constants or the functions of x. After that what you have to do is you have to find the integrating factor and the integrating factor is nothing but e raised to the power p dx where p you can obtain from the general equation. After that when you have found out the integrating factor you are supposed to multiply the integrating factor on both the sides the left hand side of the equation as well as the right hand side of the equation. So you have to multiply both the sides by integrating factor which in short I have referred by if. So once you have multiplied the integrating factor both the sides then the equation is ready to integrate. So now you have to integrate both the sides of the equation in order to get this particular form and that is your required solution after integration. So the integrating factor is the key word in linear differential equations in this topic of the chapter of differential equations. One more thing, it is also as important as your homogeneous differential equations. You cannot leave this topic because that is very important from your examination point of view. 